could we go into this relationship then? Could we go into this relationship about thought, uh, about the way knowledge interferes with that relationship? Let's go into that then, slowly and carefully, so that we can be more clear about what you're saying. I feel knowledge in relationship of knowledge, psychological knowledge, is tremendous data. What do you mean by psychological knowledge? Knowledge of knowing oneself. Just me. Just me, just me. Don't jump on me. <laughs> <laughs> You all look like that at me. <laughs> so, to knowledge based on memory, and memory in relationship, which is knowledge. The image I have created about my wife and my husband, that's knowledge. The image I have created as Psychologically, as a Hindu, that's a danger because it separates me from the Christian, the Christian who thinks he's better, and so on. It's the same problem. You know? Psychological knowledge brings sorrow, pain. That's what I mean by him, psychological knowledge. I see. You're distinguishing this from technical knowledge. Huh? You're distinguish You think the danger is psychological knowledge, but technical knowledge itself is not. No, no, no. Just me, just me. Technical knowledge <coughs> I've acquired mm. by study, mm. by etc. I've acquired. Perhaps I'm moving with the same mentality into the psychological. Where I have to learn, where I have to be educated, where I have to have acquired knowledge about relationship. That very knowledge prevents relationship. I can go into it if you like. So, psychology, that kind of knowledge is sorrow, is fear. Which is distracting. Why? And uh, why is it distracting? And why is it sorrow and fear? I can see that some of it be sorrow involves sorrow and fear. Would you say thought is fear? Well, I never have said it, and I don't know if I'm saying it now. I'd have to think. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. All right. <laughs> I'm saying thought is fear. With thought being time, time and thought together have put fear in me, have created fear. Fear of the past, fear of the present, fear of the future, which is time and which is movement of thought. That's fear. Thought and time have created fear in me, which is my knowledge of what happened yesterday, the pain of yesterday, modified and so on to the future. All that is a process of knowledge, psychological knowledge, which brings about the fear, sorrow, pain, grief and so on. On one side you cultivate knowledge, technological knowledge. On the other side also you are cultivating knowledge. So we are always living in this field of knowledge. And knowledge can never be complete, like you love it too. So I am always living in, a, in partly in darkness, partly in light, which is called knowledge the other darkness which is called ignorance. So there is this constant struggle going on.
So, is psychological knowledge necessary at all? So do you think that's a jump? Okay. Do you think that's a jump then? Because I'm not clear why knowledge should interfere. I'm not sure why the, the knowledge that we use in education, conclusions, all that, should interfere into the okay. Right, it's good. I have a job now as a carpenter, plumber, a surgeon. And there are better surgeons, better carpenters, better plumbers than me. So I'm always frightened. I'm always jealous, competitive, because I want to be better than that person, who is a better carpenter, and I might lose my job, become unemployed. So there is fear. Thought, I have a job. Thought projects the idea I might not have it, and I might lose my job. And thought says you must be better than that carpenter. So there is this competition, the fact that I might lose the job, all that is fear created by thought, because I might not have that job. This is simple enough. <coughs> We have accumulated psychological knowledge which threatens the survival of humanity. The question, therefore, is how do we get rid of it? Ah, there is no getting rid of it. There is only, if I may point out most respectfully, there is only the observation of it, perception. Not the investigation of it, not the analysis of it, but just the observation of the fact that I, that I am full of psychological knowledge. As we said yesterday, I am all memory. Either it is a fact or some illusion which the speaker is stating. If it is a fact, then I can't change it. I, who am total memory, can't change the fact that I am memory. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. You mean, sir, that in relationship there is no experience there is no experience in relationship. We usually think that we, we get experience in relationship. Exchange. Exchange. Experience. 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 We, get, yeah, we accumulate experience. And you, you seem to say that in relationship there is no experience, only in technological field. Sir, when you say experience, what do you mean by that word? Well, so I'm not quibbling about words. I like to understand what you mean by that. experience. Sexual experience, experience of companionship, experience of living together, two people living together, adjusting. Possessing each other, having uh, in that possession pleasure, you know, is that all that you call living, which is an, which you would say experience, is it? Is that so what you mean by it? Why do we need experience? Please, this is a serious question, don't brush it off. Why do we need experience? 